Welcome back. In this video we're going to make a tutorial on the GTA series and it's specifically going to be about the minimaps. So we're going to create a minimap for the GTA clone. So let's just get started. So what we need first is right here on our assets we're going to right click, we're going to put create and we're going to put render texture and we're just going to name it to minimap. And then over here on our camera we're just going to copy the camera, call it minimap camera and then we're going to set it to orthographic and we are going to rotate it 90 degrees and if we go to our game we can see it right there we are actually gonna rotate oh make sure you remove the camera follow and rotate script if you have the rotate script so remove camera follow and rotate camera and then we have it to orthographic and we'll set it to 90 degrees so now we're gonna be on top of the player so if I go up here, we can see the camera is on top of the player. It's moving more. So the player is kind of centered. Now we're going to drag this actually up a bit. And we could change the size if we want to get closer to the player, more further away, whatever you guys want to do. For now, I'm probably just going to have it around here at, let's say, 9. And then we are also going to, right here where it says target texture, we're going to drag that in. We're going to remove, if you did duplicate the main camera, we are going to remove the Sunshaft scripts if you have it, audio listener, and the flare layer. And we're just going to have this minimap camera. So now we're going to add the icons, just like in GTA, the little icons that they have. So let's start adding those. On the player, we're going to add a canvas if it doesn't have a canvas already. So UI, uh, canvas, and we are actually going to use an image. So this image is just going to be a dot or a knob. And with the knob selected, we could actually set the canvas to world space and add the mini map camera. So now if we go to the image, it's probably going to be a little further away. So we just going to position this all the way to where the player might be at. Let's go to the image, drag this out. The player should be over here. The player is over here. So let's drag it over here. Go this way. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees and we're actually going to make this a bit smaller, something maybe like 15 by 15, the width and the height. Actually even smaller than that, maybe 5 by 5. We'll go to the image, we'll make sure it is on top of the player and we will drag them up. So now we got to make the actual minimap, at least the UI of the minimap. So we're going to go to UI, we're going to put raw image, we're going to click this and we're going to hit shift alt and click this little square on the bottom. We go to the game you should see it's down here so after that we are just going to go to that raw image we'll name it like something like minimap radar and we will drag in the texture so now you can see the little texture okay and then now what you could do is go to the actual minimap radar move it anywhere you'd like set the width and the height to maybe something like 150 by 150 or even bigger 200 by 200 you can make this as big as small as you want then we're going to add, where is the little image, the knob. We are going to have to position it. For some reason my image moved. So now if I go to the game, make sure your minimap camera is above everything. That way it gets most of the things that you want to render. And then for the dot, let's go to game. Okay, so what you got to do is make sure that right here in colon mask that you do enable UI and everything else. If not, this won't work. Make sure the minimap is in the target texture. For the minimap radar, make sure this minimap texture is also in there as well. I'll make sure it's in raw image component. Then on your image where it is actual the player icon. I did set the width and the height to 40, but you guys could change it any, to anything you like. And as you can see, there's that little circle. So I could change it and that would be my player icon. Now let's say I want to do the same thing for this building kind of like in the Grand Theft Auto games. So if I click on this building, I'm gonna also add a canvas and it will be just this image. And then I'm gonna add this image right here, maybe. Uh, I'll always make sure that the canvas is set to world space and that you're using the minimap camera. So let's just go over here, click on canvas, click on the little icon, type minimap, make sure it's at scene and then just add it like that. And that should be it. Add the image, just gonna add like a background image and now if I go to the game or actually to the scene go to image you can see it right there this is probably going to be like the, the thing that takes most of the time put it around there get closer to it go back the building right here so we'll go up we'll put it to 90 degree rotation on the X bring it more up we'll go up here to this little get gadget 
our widget and then click on the top. We're gonna hit R or T, whatever you guys prefer. And then we'll just kind of size it up with the police department. So I know the buildings in GTA, they're usually like a grayish color. I think the roads are usually black. And then um, the player is like a white dot. So we'll have it like that. We'll go to the side view, click on the image, and we could just bring it down how further or how down we want it. We'll hit, keep it like that. See, there's that little white image. We could change it to maybe some kind of gray, kind of like in the GTA games. And then we'll do the same thing for the road. So I'm just gonna show you real quick and we'll add a canvas as well. Instead of doing this whole process over, I'll just duplicate this canvas. So what actually I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it up here. Now we have a canvas that's not parented to anything. So this is also another approach you take if you don't want to have to parent everything to the actual object themselves. And it'll probably be easier as well. Just name this canvas something like mini map icons canvas and then we could put this as road icon and we just have to resize the actual thing, the actual road. So we'll drag it up here. We'll bring it all the way down here. And this is just the, the image is just an image that I got off of Unity, a default image, but you guys could pretty much create any image you want, import it and, you know, put it right here in the source image and it'll work the same way. So now we got this road, we're just going to turn it a little bit black. And as you can see, it, it is black now. And this probably would be the best approach is just to make a canvas like this and add your road icons, all the other icons. The reason that the player kind of needs it on himself, that way when he's walking around, the icon actually moves with it. But for the other icons, like the roads, the buildings, I don't really think you would need to put it on their object, their game object. For example, for like anything that's static, that doesn't move, I don't really think you would need, you know, separate icons for it, separate canvases for it. So as you can see, this is actually not showing my player anymore or the player icon. And since we can't see the little player, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the canvas, so minimap canvas, and we're gonna change the ordering layer. So as you can see, it actually changes it. We're gonna change it to something like, well, negative five is fine. So we'll just change it to negative five. And now if I hit play on the game, sorry if the audio is too loud. Now I could actually move my player and it will move on the map as well. Later on, we could do something like, maybe we could even do it now. We'll add the minimap camera. We'll put camera follow. We'll add the target. So the target will be the player. Let's hit play, see if this works. So it does kind of rotate a little bit. We we'll probably have to set this to maybe 45 or 90. Yeah, we could do 90. So just make sure this is set to 90. Hit play. Now you can see that the player actually moves around in the minimap. Now, if you see the player does get underneath the actual icons, what you could do is just go to minimap camera where it says calling everything. If we put nothing, it won't show anything. But if we put just the UI and the ground, then it should be fine. So now it doesn't really show a building in here. But if we go over here where we do have a building, the dot should still be on top. So that's a way we could fix that. And one last tip before I finally leave is in the minimap or radar, it doesn't have to be a square. If you wanna do it like in uh, the GTA games, we'll create a UI, an image, we'll add a mask. So that's the mask itself. We'll put, let's say a circle, and we'll make the mini map apparent of the image. So now you can see all we have is that little circle. Now make sure though, before you do make it apparent, so let's go back to when it was in the mini map radar, kind of size it up to the size you want it to be from the start. So let's say I want it to be that size, then parent it. And as you can see, it's still kind of like a circle. So we could make this a little smaller. We could also position this the way we want, about there, and then we'll move it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, you could always make another image on top, create an image, say in this canvas, another image. We'll also make it into a circle. We'll bring this image over as well. Make the width bigger than the whole actual circle. Also the height, too big for that. Then we'll put the image above this later on. Just trying to show you what you could do real quick. You know, add like a border, kind of like in the Grand Theft Auto games. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoy this video, if you guys like this video, do not forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I will be making more GTA tutorials and also extreme motorcycle tutorials if you guys have any ideas on or want to see something in specific about the tutorials leave me a comment down below 
I will try my best to get everything done, finish everything on time. I'll just try my best to be pushing out these videos as quickly as possible. I did find a software for editing videos that seems like it might help me out. It actually helps me edit the videos way quicker. So hopefully that will give me some time to actually be able to do these videos for you. So once again, thank you guys.